Shalom Chevre, this is Richard Solomon, and this will be a demonstration of how to place a copyright watermark on any of your images. The reason you might want to put a copyright watermark on your images is to let others know that you indeed were the creator of this particular image. So let me show you what first what we're talking about. Okay, so here's a picture of myself, and it's a little hard to see, but this is Richard D. Solomon, and to the right of it, there's a little copy mark uh, symbol here. And I'm gonna show you now how I made that. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to this URL, watermark.wshome, and you want to uh, log in and get an account. I'm assuming you can do that. You go here and you open up a new folder and you see where it says click here to upload and in this case I'm going to upload a photo from my computer but you can also import uh, your photos from Facebook so let's click on this and let's click on a photo of myself okay so I'm going to go to my folder here and I'm going to go to this image all right and I upload it and here it is and what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to uh, click to edit it all right so I can edit it through a text watermark I can edit it through a logo or I can create a template but for simplicity's sake, let's show how to create a copyright watermark, watermark through text, all right? So let's click on text, and we're going to add a symbol, okay? We're going to add this symbol right over there, and then we're going to put my name on it. Let's get rid of uh, watermark, and let's write my name. Richard D. Solomon. We'll put my title there. Okay, and you see it has the uh, symbol added, right? Let's just go back to be sure that the symbol is added at the beginning. Yes, it is. And you have different choices of fonts. So let's say we want to, just for the sake of it, we'll. Uh, Go for this font. You see that? And we can change the color of the font. Let's say I wanted to make the font yellow. So we make it yellow. Okay. And we can change the size of the font. You can make it bigger or smaller. And you can move the font. You can move the copyright watermark wherever you wish. Let's say I want to put it over here. You also can uh, choose to have a single watermark, or you can have uh, multiple watermarks. We don't really need that. And if you like the way it looks, you also can change the rotation. But I like the way that looks. We're going to hit Apply. OK. And if you want, you could save it as a template. Let's say we skip that. And then we simply, when we're finished, and we like the way it looks, we hit done, and it will uh, download. If you want to see it, you just click download, and here's be funky uh, picture of me with, uh, we'll say, uh, copyright watermark. All right, and it's on my desktop, and let's take a look at it. So there it is, right? There is my picture with the watermark on it and the copyright, and uh, that's how you do it. I hope this was helpful, and thank you so much.